At the State of the Union conference here in Florence, we got the chance to sit down with Albania's Prime Minister Edi Rama, who recently won his third consecutive term, breaking a record in the Western Balkan state. Albania's bid to join the European Union took center stage in the recent parliamentary election. Prime Minister Edi Rama, thanks so much for joining us on the program. So Albania's bid uh, to join the European Union could take a step forward with the first conference to begin negotiations between Albania and other EU countries to be proposed soon. How significant a step is that? It's very difficult to say. It's, it's very difficult because uh, we had to take this step a few years ago and then again and again and again. It didn't happen because of the inner dynamics in the European Council and we hope it will be the case, but so uh, it's not easy. What are you prepared to do if talks get stalled once again? No, we don't plan to do anything else than to continue working for it because uh, for us uh, Europe is not um, political destination or objective. Europe is a religion and nobody can uh, betray this religion in Albania because of a simple fact that Europe is a testament and is at the same time what we owe to our children. And uh, this is why uh, we will only work harder and harder and harder to make Albania a full functioning European state. Bringing Albania to the EU has been your main political promise from the start. Given all these years that have passed, how much does joining the EU mean to Albania today? It means always as much as it meant since day one. Uh, Albanians uh, are never tired of uh, fighting to be part of Europe. Of course, uh, disappointments have been subsequent and uh, Europe has not been good in uh, keeping its own promises. We have done our homework, we'll continue to do so, because as I said, for us, uh, Europe is what has been uh, since the first day we got out of communism. And it's our first time in history that we can choose. We never had a choice and others decided for us. And our place was uh, in different, in different uh, spaces, but not in a space we always wanted, which is the European Union. With the EU membership process taking longer than expected, it seems that the Western Balkans have become a battleground for outside powers as well. Um, what's your take on that and where does Albania stand in all this? By not being integrated fully in the European Union, the Western Balkans remains, uh, remains a, a grey zone that uh, offers uh, attraction and uh, also chances to other actors to third actors that uh, don't have the same benign uh, uh, attitude and, uh, and uh, the same you know, values and principles uh, that the European Union offers. And uh, for Albania, I don't see any immediate danger because uh, Albanians are, are very fanatic about West and about the European Union. The other countries uh, more or less have much more to deal with these influences from other actors. In the last couple of years Albania has gone through large-scale constitutional changes when it comes to fighting corruption, implementing reforms. The situation has improved but it's not enough. How much progress do you think has Albania made, especially when it comes to the rule of law. There is a big difference between becoming members of the European Union and uh, entering in the full track of uh, negotiations. Because uh, as we are today, we are not ready to be members, uh, no doubt. But as we are today, 
we are more than ready to enter in full track of the negotiations. And it's there where the contradicting point uh, stands and where Europe is uh, being short-sighted and somehow even hypo hypocritical because uh, Albania deserves to enter in full track negotiations and full stop. And do you think is this progress that you just mentioned something that helped you be re-elected? I think, I think uh, uh, the people of Albania have a clear sense that the job is not finished. Uh, the third mandate is a clear, uh, is a clear uh, mandate to finish the job. It's not the reward for a job that was already finished. I'd like to touch on the EU enlargement process in the Western Balkans. Um, what's your position with regards to these unofficial documents circulating in Brussels advocating the redrawing uh, of the borders of the Western Balkans? We heard from the President of North Macedonia saying that it would be just catastrophic. My take is very simple. Uh, as far as we, and when I say we, I mean all the actors and the players, the European Union, the United States, the players in the region, will not tackle the status quo with uh, very uh, open uh, and clear approach. Frustrations will be there and ideas will pop up from the most, uh, you know, ridiculous to the strangest idea because uh, the status quo is not an option. While we have deep disagreements to sort out, we have to agree to disagree on them and at the same time to push all together to strengthen our cooperation, to create in the region a uh, full functioning Schengen area with uh, all four freedoms of Europe being implemented. Prime Minister Edirama, thanks so much for joining us on the Global Conversation. Thank you.